Tandim Tonga, the Bonogutu Usasa Strong, Nobu Shelo, we are in Bazio. I'll be called, and I've been telling him that it's like Mama, I'll see him say. Problem, yeah, I mean, I can't eat Tibana now. There is no any competition between me and Matiba. So, when Tanim Tanel go to know Umse, and continuously she continued to be beautiful and to look beautiful. And you mean again, I'm saying that now the Funu Wutun is a pile of house, a rock on. Sam and your born a Ugochi Aban for Conabash. We are born here and I'm sad. I wish I would call. And Seba, Seboma, Mano, see, see, me batting yarn. So it is your day to the Pung Gakul. And what you should know, Ni Lapa. You should know, Guti, you gave birth to a most unbelievable daughter. A daughter who rose to be the first social worker, black social worker in our country. A daughter who grew in stature and, yes, became the wife of one of the greatest leaders our country has ever had, but a daughter who also in her own right, in her own right, grew, matured, to be one of the greatest women leaders of our struggle, who grew to be a great leader also in the African National Congress. And it is good to come here where, where she grew up and also to see the people that she grew up with. For us, it is touching, it is heartwarming to be here at the home of the Matigizelas and to see the area that gave birth to this icon, to this gigantic woman <coughs> who today we are going to pay tribute to. And what you should also know, Uguti, Umamuini, Yes, belongs to you as this area, Yasem Bizana, she belongs to you as the Matigizelas. But what you should also know, she belongs to the whole country. She belongs to the whole world. The people who are going to come to her funeral are coming from all corners of the world. They are coming from the United States, they are coming from the UK, they are coming from many countries on the African continent. And it's not only people, it's also heads of state. They have decided to come to pay tribute to this daughter who was born in this place. That just shows the extent to which Umamuini has become a great leader in our struggle. We as the government are going to pay tribute to Mamwini today here in a government uh, held memorial. Tomorrow we are going to pay tribute again to her in Johannesburg at Orlando Stadium. And on Saturday the government is going to be leading the process of laying her to rest. The fact that as a government we decided that we should offer her an official special funeral. It means that we recognize the role and the contribution that Umamuini made not only to the people of this country, but to the struggle to get all of us to be free. Umamuini made a huge contribution, <clears throat> but in that contribution, she suffered a great deal. It is difficult to even imagine the suffering that she went through. Bauteta Apuguti, yes, she got married at 22. Just at 22, and she just lived with her husband just for a few years, five years. After that, he was gone. 
and wasala ge ekulisa aba bantwana on her own but you should know go to kanga kulise aba bantwana bakho babili phe ukulise abantwana besizwe abantwana bebeza kuye from all over ka city umamwini she is the mother of the nation we mean it in real effect umamwini she is indeed the mother of the nation and it's not a title which has just been imposed on her given to her earned that title it's a title that she got by working amongst the people by caring for our people nizolilwela nizela nizolilwela nizolilwela bo nizela yo yo nizela nizela me nizela me nizela me